Welcome back to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Now, it's real time. Welcome back, everyone. Now, really quickly, remember that you got to get your controlled hunt apps at, at least in before the 15th of May here in Oregon, Washington. I don't know, uh, but that was a great reminder. We're going to make sure to talk about that more as we go forward. Big Dave. How's it going, buddy? It's good, good to see, see you, you man. Oh, and how are you, buddy? It's good to see you. Thanks now, first us. thing, we're all disappointed because you don't have green gloves on. But and I, I just said that to you. Where's your gloves? Okay. okay. So yeah, where's your gloves? Good. We're, we're, at least you got the glasses on. You know, you got That's that right. down. It was a long night last night. Long night. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're getting ready. I, I mean, the, you're about ready to get back out of the water, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So I'm just getting on my boat ready, getting ready to get launched. and. Yeah. Kind of weird starting my season late, but we fished okay. steelhead really late. Then we were back <laughs> east, doing some more filming and a mm -hmm. movie premiere over there with the rest of the boys from yeah. Addicted. And yeah, we just barely got back yep. about four days ago, so we're all right. Not to get too ready. sidetracked, but I had a, a pretty good steelhead season. At least it felt like it. How was your steelhead season over there along the coast? Wet in January. We didn't fish two days, maybe many days, wow. but yeah. February and March were. We're good. We're yeah. pretty good. Yeah, we're good. It was yeah. pretty a lot a lot of wild fish, a lot of I mean it was a good season overall. Yeah. I think it I, I think across the board it was probably the best season we've seen and not maybe not as up many and down the coast as well. Big fish. Yeah. There weren't quite as many super monsters, but right. A lot of but eight, still nine a good year. fish, yeah. great fish. Yeah, great year. Good, uh, year. good enough overall. You sure. mentioned that you're not gonna, you're going to start fishing here this week. Yeah, uh, you know we're mm -hmm. kind of into the season already. Is this the latest that you started for Springers on the Willamette? No, so I started doing this the last couple of years just because the inconsistency and the Columbia River openers. Yeah. And it's like you know they say that we're going to get a season and they get shut down early and so on and so forth. So I just I stay over steelhead fishing and can go over there and you know pick off a few fish a day rather than fish for one bite. And right. It seems like my clients enjoy it just as much. So doing that and then I get my start here and it seems like this fishery you know over time has just gone further later and further and later, yeah. later and later so um, that's kind of where I focus this year so well, we'll makes sense. see how it goes. Your clients appreciate that yeah. rather than yeah. taking money for boat rides you know <laughs> wait until they got yeah. good opportunities for that's sure. good. For sure. You don't fish your springers here and it's a weird year for you you're not going to be up in Alaska like yeah. you typically yeah, are. You're going to be a, here chasing springers. Yep I'm going to stay down here uh, till I think July 13th I'll, I'll head up to Alaska but yeah fishing springers May and June. I'm out of the lodge there in Tillamook, so we'll yeah. be fishing the ocean, the bay, tidewaters. Um, we'll have salmon the river, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll get after it for the next couple months. We'll probably get started here about the fifth, sixth of May. But there's a That's few it. fish down there. There's a couple getting caught, so here another week or so, we'll we'll see some more coming in. Well, we're going to talk with them a little bit about springers here in just a little bit, but we got to talk about the Catch Zone app that you guys have just recently launched. It's been available for a short period of time, mm -hmm. but it's definitely something that none of us have seen here. Uh, in the Northwest, and I don't mean to keep going back to another app that's out there, but at least it's a reference point right. uh, for the viewers. Uh, you know, Onyx has been around for oh, quite a while now, and it is a tremendous tool uh, that we use for significant, for a ton of different things. Right. You're talking about hunting. You're both hunters. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Absolutely. But we haven't had something that was slanted solely towards fishing here in Oregon and Washington. Yep. Right. Yep. Oregon and Washington both. Uh, so the Catch Zone app, tell us what it is and how you guys how you guys kind of came up with it and what's it going to do for us? Well, I can start here. So Catch Zone, well, it all started as kind of an idea, right? Mm -hmm. We were actually on the river with a client of ours and and who's involved with the app as well. And mm -hmm. he we were tagging a fish and he's like, what if you could just auto populate your tag, your catch code? Mm -hmm. And that's where the name Catch Zone kind of generated from. And then we dove into just kind of making it the the all in all one stop shop for fishing. I mean, um, we've we've added everything from tides, weather, mm -hmm. you know, where to fish, how to fish, every single every regulated single, body yeah of body water. regulated body of water in the state of Oregon or Washington, all the lakes, everything. You can all the lakes. We got a lot yep. of lakes. Here. All the lakes. All the lake. And the wow. information you know that we have in a lot of the lakes is is pretty pretty packed. Like Nick was saying, how to fish, oh, where to go. fish, the times to fish, um, all your rules and regulations. Um, emergency closures will come up. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's actually one of the things that was a main focus for us was the, the emergency closure portion. You know, mm -hmm. in, in the state of Oregon, Washington, unfortunately, we are restricted a lot by fish and game. And, and, you know, there's always something changing, whether it's fall salmon, spring salmon, whatever it is. And the 
it's really hard to figure it out, you know, what, oh, what you, that ruling is. You need is. to be an attorney half the time to figure this stuff out. Exactly. So on this, on our app, you go to click your body of water, you can select the, whatever it's the Columbia, Willamette, whatever river you're on, and the first thing that will pop up under the salmon or steelhead icon, if you click it, will be the emergency regulation in bold red writing. So gotcha. if there's going to be a closure or if it's a one fish limit or if it's a temporary like they did on the coast last year where it was two per year, those things are going to be listed, you know, um, in, in re right at the top of the page with bold red writing. And that was the thing we had to, and, and it was one of the rivers I fished last year, even I couldn't figure out yeah. what the actual regulation was because sure. you had to go through seven different pages and pull up different, you know, click this link to get to the page that actually tells you where it is. Right. And we want to, you know, you see people get tickets and stuff like that for it, so it was yeah. a big thing for us. And, we really, I think this thing's going to be awesome. I, I've been I've been doing this a long time, and I've given information out that got other people in, in trouble. Mm -hmm. It's certainly right. something that is very difficult to keep up with. It right? Is. If you're not checking in on the daily, depending on the fishery that you're fishing, uh, you can really put yourself out there. And mm -hmm. trust me, they don't mind. Oh, you didn't notice this? <laughs> right. There you go. Good <laughs> yeah. to see you. Yeah. Nice to see you. Yeah. Make sure you read your yeah. regulations. <laughs> so, I mean, right. that's another thing. You always want to make sure that you go back to your regs and you, uh, that you know where you are, right? That you know what the situation is, what the limits are, and, and everything that Nick was just referring to. Uh, but it can be very difficult. So, in the app, it'll kind of break all that down for you. Yep, yep. Yeah. And so, and, and a lot of the app as well is like, we wanted to make every day you go fishing, you check your weather, you check your tides, mm -hmm. you go in to check the regulations, you check your, you know, your forecast, whatever it's going to be, your hourly. You got to go into a different app every time you're doing and that's, that. That's the real nice right. thing about the whole weather page. It's all on one page. So you're yeah. not, you know, we're not going to four different sites to figure out what we're going to do. So it's going to have the weather and all that stuff, the title? All, oh, yeah. all on one page. You can look at your, your river level, your mm -hmm. swell, your forecast everything all, all on one way. page I mean dam counts stocking reports yeah I mean it's every literally... every river in the state of Oregon and Washington that they stock steelhead in mm -hmm. it, it has all the stocking reports and then all the lakes for all the trout interesting anything mm -hmm. they stock it's in it's there. funny that you mentioned that because I, I, every day just like you said right I go through my phone and I look at my either my websites that are open right mm -hmm. depending on which ones they are for weather and this and that and then two or three different apps from wind yeah. to yeah. tide to you whatever it could be I mean it, I go through four or five apps just to yeah. figure out okay am I making the right choice because it's always in the back of your head am I doing it right should I do yeah. something different right. but to have it all in one spot will certainly be an advantage when we come back though we're gonna have our Chevy Silverado tech tip of the week I'm gonna actually pull this app up and just give you a quick rundown on how you can find it and then how you can just download it to get started and we'll talk more with Dave and Nick about how to use it uh, in a way that will be beneficial to you to be more successful out there. We'll be back with Nick and Dave talking about the Catch Zone app in just a minute. Outdoor GPS is brought to you by Chevy Silverado and the impressive new TurboMax engine. Flex your muscle with the strongest, most advanced Silverado ever. Official truck of Outdoor GPS. 